Ashley Monroe, and I'm an instructor at Mood Studios in Denver, Colorado. Now, I already did a video, number one. It was called Stability and Mobility Using the Yoga Blocks, and I kind of talked through everything. So if you're at that point now where you've done that video a couple times and you're like, okay, Ashley, I am ready to do this. No breaks, no stops. I have my brain connected to my body and I have my head tail. This is the workout for you. So we're gonna go ahead and go through that whole entire workout without really stopping and doing more reps. So we're gonna go up to the 10 rep area, okay? So I'm sitting up nice and tall on my block. I'm gonna inhale both arms up, exhale, twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, wrapping that little nugget. We got six more. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. If you're at that point now, you can always close your eyes and just enjoy the movement. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Two more, almost there. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Take everything along for the ride. Last time. Exhale, twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, bring that hand down where you can. Reach that arm up and back around. Remember, you can work on that eye-hand coordination. Connecting your brain to your body. One more time. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. Find that anchoring point wherever you can. Bring that arm up. Look at it. Go all the way back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. last time. Here we go. Bringing your arms back down to center. Let's work on that cervical rotation. So we're going to take the head around, up, and through. Again, we're trying to isolate just that cervical, that neck. I'm going to do five one way, five the other way. You don't have to close your eyes. <laughs> Sometimes it's a nice challenge, right? So if you're doing this video third or fourth time through, and you're like, you know what? I'm kind of tuning out. I need to tune back in. Taking away one of your senses is a great way to do that. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> Last time. Good, now we're gonna move to the ribs. Taking the rib cage around. Using that breath. Other way. One more time. 
right? I'm gonna switch my legs for myself before I get to that pelvis. Here we go. I'm gonna move my pelvis now in that circle. We're going down the line. So we want that baby to go down the line, right? Three, two, one, woo, and reverse it, go around, and through. And hopefully this feels good not stopping and starting because I'm talking. I'm hoping that you feel a little bit more mobility the more you do this video. Okay, now we have our inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, we do our side bend. Now there's a difference between just collapsing, right? We're really connecting our brain to our body in this workout because I'm not talking so much. So really keep thinking, how could I improve this mobility and this stability? arms slightly in front of you. Don't let them start to travel back. Hopefully you're getting a lot more side bend this series. Two more. One more time on either side. Now we're going to hold this side and we're gonna bend and stretch. So we're gonna go bend and stretch. We're gonna do five on either side. Two, exhale, stretch. Three, exhale, stretch. Four, exhale, stretch. Five, exhale, stretch. Good, just always think, maybe you're performing. Maybe you're in your own home, right? Maybe someone wants to take a picture of you here and here, right? Really think about that movement. Three, Two more, two, one more time. Good, come all the way back up to finish, arms down by your side. All right, let's hop onto all fours. Here we go. Putting the block to the side. So we're gonna start with arms, then legs, then opposite arm and legs, then coordination, all right? Here we go. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Starting with mobility first, cat and cow, right? Inhale here, exhale, tuck and scoop. Inhale back, out through, leading through the pelvis. And if wrapping that baby doesn't work for you, think about engaging that TA, that transverse abdominis. Belly button to spine, that's what that is, right? Exhale. <sighs> Exhale again. If you need a different image, maybe rounding like a physio ball, rounding up and over something and then reaching back around and through something. Let's do one more for this video. Good, so now we're here. I'm gonna work on stability, right? Through my trunk, so I'm gonna move my arms. Remember those modifications with your feet against the wall. You do you for how you're feeling today. Doesn't mean you're not a rock star, okay? You're building a life. You're creating a human being, right? So just be patient. Remind yourself that you're a rock star. And if you're spitting everywhere, that's okay. That means you're making more effort, right? One more time on either side. Good, now stability through my upper body while articulating through my lower body. Exhale. 
Stretch it out. You can always slide it on the floor, then lift it. So that's sliding on the floor to lift, right? Or you can just go straight to the lift. You can do it. Just keep wrapping that baby. One more time on either side. Armpits to hips, head, tail. And shake, shake, shake. Now here's where I'm going to take a little breather. Right? We have our modification for a bolster, a yoga bolster. And I'm going to take my knees wide, off my pads, and sit back and stretch. <sighs> Right? Really feel that space in the back line of my body. Sometimes it's hard to think about that when you're pregnant because all you see is the front. But you do have a back line, so think about it. Other side. Good. Found my back line breath. I'm going to remove my blocks again. I'm going to find my knees underneath my hips. My hands underneath my shoulders. Now here we go. Opposite arm is leg. Let's get it. Here we go. Exhale. One. It's like you're balancing those two martinis you're going to have after you give birth on your pelvis and on the back of your bra strap. Exhale. Martini's not your thing. Maybe it's a glass of wine. Maybe it's a beer. Maybe it's that coffee, that cup of coffee. I can't wait for that. That's my little vice. Four more. Hope you're sweating. I'm sweating, okay? This looks easy. But it's not. When your brain is truly connected to your body, it is a lot harder. Here we go. Working up that chain. Arm and leg are going to stretch apart, and then we're going to bend and extend. Here we go. Exhale. Bring it back. Stretch it back up. Bring it back through. And extend. Bring it back. Bring it back through. And return. We got eight more. And bring it back. Keep thinking about that head tail. Right? Your leg does not have to lift up that high. We're just trying to stabilize through that trunk and that thoracic. You can point or flex. Woo! Really wrap that baby. And you know, the only time my little girl inside of me is silent is when I'm moving. Because she's like, thanks, Mom. You're making some space for me. And I'm like, yes, I am. But I'm also making space for myself. And reach and through. Two more. And reach back through. And return last time. And stretch. Bring it back through and return. Good. So now we have our on all fours. Right? We've done a lot on our wrists. We're giving ourselves a break. We're using our rolled um, dish towel or mat. And we're putting it behind our knee. We come down to our forearms. Knees underneath the hips. Head, tail. Wrap that baby. Tuck your toes underneath. Ten on each side. Here we go. Back down. Right? Remember, pelvic floor narrows, pelvic floor widens. Whew. It's all about that stable side. The working size is just that added benefit. Four more. Three more. Two more. 
Hang in there. One. You can always add little pulses. Okay, here we go. Other side. Boom, boom, boom. Reset up. Tuck your toes. Inhale, exhale. Bring it back down. Keep it going. You're working hard, not hardly working. Four more. Three more. Two more. One more time. Bring it down. Good job. Put those blocks, one to either side. Take that little rolled out mat or dish towel. Put your pads to the side. Hopefully you're hydrating. So three things cause cramping. Do we know what they are? They are dehydration, circulation, and articulation, right? So if one of those things is out of whack, you're probably going to get a cramp. So set up your blocks. Remember, hot dog and cake. Okay, here we go. So hot dog side. Okay, cake side. Move that hair, that fabulous hair, out of the way. Here we go. Arms up straight, feet planted. Arms go back. <sighs> Exhale around. All right. <sighs> Ooh, she moved. That's okay, right? Woo! Sometimes they kick you just to let them let you know that they're there, right? And sometimes you need that little kick in the pants to get your butt moving. We got four more here. Two more. I'm moving my arms back, not my head forward. I'm going to bring my arms down by my side, slowly push my body up. Turn, flip, come back. Anchor that pelvis. Uh, 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 uh. Here we go. Boom, boom, here we go. Arms go back. We go goal posts and stretch. And goal post and stretch. Now you might not feel something until like three or four, right? Now I'm really starting to feel that stretch to the front line of my body. Oh, feels so good. Now, I haven't talked about this, but if you're not pregnant, you could do this workout. What's stopping you, right? This is a great workout even if you're not pregnant. So no excuses, people. Four. Three. Two more. One more time. Oh, it feels so good. Arms down, big exhale to come up. Okay, last one. Okay, hot dog sandwich, lie down. Okay, we're gonna do five and five of each. Anchor that pelvis, arms up. Arms go back, reach it around. I can feel I'm touching my props, that's okay but I'm not moving fast in the exercise. I'm moving faster to get into the exercise because my brain is more connected to my body, but I'm not rushing through the exercise. That's what I want you to remember. And I don't know if you've noticed, but it's okay to exercise at, out in your um, pregnancy belt. I'm wearing one for this pregnancy. 
because my pubic symphysis has a little bit of pain. One more time. So if you're like, Ashley, I have to work out with a belt, go ahead and work out with a belt. Ashley's working out with a belt. And bend into goal pulse and stretch. And bend and stretch. Woo! Three. And stretch. Two more. And stretch. Last time. And stretch. Woo, she just gave me a big old kick. You're welcome, honey. And then bring it down and push your body up and turn around. Okay, here we go. We got our push ups 10 and 10. Let's see how I do. Okay. You have to be your own cheerleader when you're pregnant. Okay? So here we go. Be excited. You can move today. You are alive today. So I tuck my toes underneath. I'm going to do triceps first. I'm going to find those hamstring glutes. I'm going to bend and stretch. It can be this small. It does not have to be big. Sit back and stretch, okay? You can open up your knees wide. You can keep your hands on the block. If that doesn't feel comfortable, put your hands on here. Or we have our modification. Bolster block. <sighs> right? That's why they call the push-up the full body exercise. There's no cheating. Right? Here we go. All right. And I'm turning them out for chest. Right? Tucking my toes underneath. Binding my head tail. Here we go. Chest. Remember, you can always do this on a chair. A chair is acceptable. Or maybe you have a little ottoman at home. Keep those hamstring glutes firing. Woo! Okay. I'm feeling that. Here we go. Upper body, lower body. Right? It's like we're going tic-tac-toe, three in a row. Okay, I got my cheater towel. Beautiful, I got my lovely little pillow. Here we go. And I say here we go a lot, because I'm trying to motivate not just myself, but her to behave, right? Here we go. Huh. You get to lie down. All right, so think about those sits bones. Inhale here. Exhale. Lift. And lower. Sits bones narrow. Woo! And lower. I get a nice booty crease. There's that booty crease. Then I get a nice hip crease. Ha! <sighs> And again. And lower. Right. Remember that modification. You can always do this. You can bend your arms. That's okay. Right? Two more. There's a difference between doing a neutral bridge and an articulated bridge. Right? Neutral bridge is really important for pregnancy. So we want to try to get really used to finding that hip crease on the way down and that booty crease on the way up. And back down. Okay, here we go. Single leg. Let's get it, ladies. Inhale here. Exhale. Ten. Here we go. Lift and lower. Stabilize. Lift. And lower. Stabilize. You got to take that second. And lower. Wrap that baby. And lower. Woo! Six. Get it. Five. Four more. Ah. 
Come on, hamstring glutes, don't give out. One more time. Lower back down, arms down, slowly articulate down. Okay, turn to the side like a graceful gazelle. Sit all the way back up. And there you go. Bravo to you. Kudos to you. No stopping, right? Just for those little tiny breaks. So get back to it. Do this workout another time. Keep it going and get better and better each time, ladies. Thank you.